Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are making a bed video. Uh, I know my other bed lift video in my first trailer was a, a hit. Um, I had the, the first one which was a hand crank. Uh, that one worked really well. Um, again, you know, then I upgraded to the hand crank under the bed and that one worked even better. Uh, a little more technical to build, but overall it, uh, it worked. Sorry for the cars in the background. So that one worked even better. So now with the new trailer, the overall width of my new trailer on the inside is eight feet. I don't want to waste that whole eight feet. I want to be able to walk on both sides of the bed and around it. So this bed is actually going to be 75 inches long. And the reason I decided 75, it's a queen, but I'm going to cut five inches off. The reason I did go for 75 is the ceiling height, the max bed I could do is 75 because my roof is kind of bowed. So the middle is high. But the walls where the bed's gonna it's gonna be kind of a murphy bed where it goes up the 75 inches is my max unfortunately so 75 is fine for me i'm, I'm only six feet so that's fine but uh if you guys run into this issue i know on the taller trailers uh, you don't have that issue my height is this height and i think there's one smaller for height wise i think there's three different heights this bed might be a great option for you you might be able to tweak it and make it work for you this is going to be completely custom something that i've come up with on my own and it's going to be an, an adjustment uh, with a board so you guys if you follow along i'll show you how i put it together and uh, i hope you enjoyed it if you have questions put them down below hey everyone so you can see i've got my frame made um, i did see a guy use kind of cattle fencing for the middle uh, that would be great unfortunately there's a port strike in vancouver right now and they are not able to get it in so instead we're going to go with these two cross rails which i took from another bed frame and uh, we're going to go with i believe quarter inch plywood so what i did is these rails are 75 inches obviously for my wall height and then the end ones are 60 inches i want to say no sorry 50 and then basically once i got them I used an angle grinder and cut it on a 45 on all, all my corners and then I basically welded the bottom welded the top and the back and I'm not a welder so don't judge but I did that on all four sides and then I took this old bed rail and I welded it to the bottom on either end for my middle supports this angle iron here is two inch by two inch by one eighth um, and I know that was that was big because they had one eighth and three sixteenths. I actually bought the three sixteenths. They loaded it in my truck, and when I got home to lift it up, I realized how heavy it was. Uh, so the next day, I actually went back and got the one eighth. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to return the three sixteenth, but that's okay. I can use that on other projects. So now that I got that all welded up, I'll be able to uh, put some. Rust-Oleum paint on there. This is just a can I had kicking around of camouflage. Uh, that'll be my base coat and then I'll do either a matte or a glossy black over top. Now with the bed welded up, we can work on the wood templates. This is going to be the important part of this project. This is how the bed is going to slide out, move down, be able to tilt up to the wall or be lift up and put into the sleeping uh, position. Uh, so this is just a template. We'll cut to, see if it works, make any modifications we need to, and then we will make our finished product. I haven't decided uh, if I'm going to use three quarter inch or one inch plywood for the finished product, uh, but this is just on half inch just to test. So we'll quickly cut this up and get back to you in a minute. So what I have here, it's about four inches in from the edge of the bed. And that's where the, the round pole will sit when you're sleeping. But then when you have to travel, you pick the pole up. Sorry, I should do it from this side. You pick the pole up and you drag the bed outwards and then it drops down and that gives you that height. So now when you're at the bottom position, you can lift the bed up and push it against the wall. And that'll at least get your bed to the about two inches from the floor. So now we'll make a second one. So I came back and went with three quarter inch plywood, a little thicker, and then we basically did our final copy. So here it is here. And again, every application is gonna be different. This might be a larger channel. 
the tubing I used was half inch steel with a three quarter inch outside diameter. So I made sure that this was drilled in seven eighths. It's a little bit bigger, perfect fit though. So now I'm gonna go test this in the trailer and uh, see how it fits. Just so everybody can see the operation of the bed, you lift it out of the lock position and sleep it. Drag it forward, down, and then from this point, you're in your lower position. And we have a 10 inch mattress. And then that would go to there. And then we fold our legs down and we'll have a strap that goes around. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, we'll have a strap that goes around that holds it. And that'll be for driving these legs fold down. Uh, now we'll put it back into the sleeping position. From the sleeping position, lift it up, drag it back, and locked for sleeping. So everybody can see the boards and the bolts. And we'll do shelves on the top. Angled shelves, like triangle shaped, and that'll also support. On the bottom, bolts. And then each piece is bolted into the wall. Make sure you hit a stud. The tube is like the hinge, and that runs from one side to the other. That's welded in place. And the bed, again, we made it 75 inches long. Gives us enough room to walk around. The uh, leg is a tent trailer leg, so you can extend it or shorten it, and then it swings in. This side I had the wheel well, so I put those bolts out a little bit. There's the inside. There's the bed frame. So now, instead of doing the farm fencing, I'm going to be doing 3 8 plywood. It's probably just going to be me. So I'm going to have one full sheet of plywood and then I'll have a small strip at the end. But again, every application is different. You could cut two sheets of plywood and have them even on either side. This is just the method that I decided. So uh, we will cut them and put them on now. We got our boards put in place. Uh, now this is the 3 8 plywood. Now we have to fasten the board to the frame itself. Uh, we are just going to use some small screws with some rounded tops. Uh, that way it won't cut into the mattress later on. Uh, you can't put a sheet over this because if you do get rubbing it will destroy your mattress. I've seen it before so I, I will probably put a, a sheet over this then I'll put the mattress down. Let's. Uh, get these bolted on so we can go on to our next step. Okay, so like I said before, our mattress, uh, queen mattress is 80 inches. Uh, we need to take uh, five inches off. I actually am taking off five and a quarter to make up for like just the bedding material. Uh, we had to cut this casing off and then we just unzip the outer casing. So now with our line drawn five and a quarter inches in, bed's 80 inches, we're gonna make it 74 and three quarters. Uh, a guy online said a automatic bread knife. Uh, you can pick one up at your local thrift store. I luckily had this one and just slowly work your way through the mattress. And there you go, just like that. Big chunk of foam. You can see how they layer it. So now with this inner case. You can just pull it back over or if you really want you can stitch it back on. I'm just going to pull it over. 
casing back on. Obviously we're going to have a bit of a loose fit. Now that we got 5 inches less mattress. But I'm okay with that. Okay everyone, we have the bed completed. Uh, it's all up in driving position. So I'm going to show you the setup. So we have our trailer legs, tent trailer. These are preset to the floor depth because one side is lower than the other. Just pull down, lock in place. And then uh, I just did a strap for now. I'm going to have a different strap on here later. And that holds it up with two hooks on either side. You're going to have to move to the right side. Once you have those undone, now you can lower the bed. And I know it looks funny, but now you got to take it out of your traveling position on the board here and move it up into the sleeping position. So now that piece is in the sleeping position and it's locked. Uh, it's just locked by having the notch facing downwards. You can see it a bit better there. There you go. There's the bed and the frame. And because the roof is so low uh, on the sides, that is why I had to make this custom bed. So you can see the one in here. There's my hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video of me making my Murphy bed in the trailer. It's a completely custom bed, uh, engineered to how I needed it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or you're doing something similar, make sure you leave those below and I'll do my best to answer them. I just want to thank everybody who subscribes to my channel. Uh, I believe today I'm just about at 2,500 subscribers. But I just want to thank everybody for following me. It really helps me out with making new content. But uh, make sure to stay tuned for my next videos coming up. I'll see you guys on the next one.